Elections are won and lost based on how you connect with people along with your messaging. And I think that we really pushed, hey, you've got alternatives here. And look at one side and what they've brought, and then look at what, what the results of our policies have been, and which ones do you want? And I think when people start looking at that and we're messaging it right, that's where we saw we picked up a couple of seats, so we're, we're happy with that. A lot of people are very concerned with inflation. They're concerned about the cost of health care, which is skyrocketing. I've got a, a, an employee who's he's getting $55,000 a year and his family of five, his premiums are $30,000. That is not sustainable. We have to start dealing with some of these issues. So the legislature uh, will be going into planning for the Senate next week, but we want to talk about these things and, and say, hey, what are we going to do about cost of living and inflation, can we do something? I think you always have to go back to numbers, and I'm a CPA, so numbers don't lie. And when you look at Medicaid, we don't want to be politicians and play the short-term game. We want to be public servants, play the long-term game. What's going to be best for the state? And we know that long-term, if you look at how government works, the feds will bait you into a program by saying, oh, this is going to be sweet, you're going to, you're going to do great and then long term it ends up costing us more money and not being good for the citizens. That's exactly what's playing out. We see that already with the Medicaid expansion states. So we just go back to simple discussions about let's talk dollars and cents and do you want to pay more? And remember every person that goes into a Medicaid program, the people who are in the regular insurance pool end up eating the cost of that. So that's what's inflating insurance premiums as well. So we don't want to go that direction because we're already struggling with the cost of health care. Why would we make that worse? The federal policies that are being pushed down right now are significantly impacting in a negative way. So elections have consequences. So those are the things that, that we talked about a lot of the doors. We're very concerned about the education of our kids. So if you look at the test scores that are coming out, because of the pandemic and the, the um, consequences of decisions by leadership there, our kids are significantly behind. So we have to figure out how do we get these kids, especially the, the most vulnerable children, are even worse than they were before. And in Wisconsin, unfortunately, they have been rated consistently for, for decades some of the bottom as far as education is concerned that we've had in the, in the United States. So we have to figure that out and get our kids back, not only back on track, but how do we elevate them back to a level that's acceptable to the parents? And how do we empower the parents to make sure that they're controlling and in charge of what our kids are being taught, not the bureaucrats who don't agree necessarily with the value system of the parents.